Hi, this is Bridget Harley from the Hearing Clinic and today I'm going to show you how to pair your Bernafon and Canter hearing instruments to your iPhone. Firstly, we need to put the hearing instruments into pairing mode. You can either do this by docking and undocking the instruments or you can do it by manually switching them off and on. To switch your instruments off, you hold the button in for a count of three When they flash amber, they'll be switched off. To switch them on again, you press the button again. When they start flashing green, that means they're booting up. They'll now be in pairing mode for approximately one to two minutes. Next, we go to our phone, we go to settings. We then need to go to accessibility we then need to go to hearing devices and then we will find the instruments over here. Your name will show here and if you have two instruments, right and left. We then come in and we click on not paired. We will then pair the one instrument and pair the other instrument. We need to wait for both of these to come up. Now we have the instruments paired to the phone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Bernafon hearing aids to the Bernafon app. The first step is to pair the hearing aid to the iPhone. Next, we will come to the App Store. We will type in Bernafon and we will be looking for this app over here. It looks like this. The first thing you'd like to do is allow the notifications and the app will need to access the Bluetooth. We will now pair the instruments to the app. Right, both instruments are now paired. We click continue. We allow whilst using the app. And I like to keep this on to always allow. Right, so here we have the app and I'm just going to talk you through the various controls on here. The first here is a volume control. Just like a television remote, you can use the plus button to make things a bit louder, or you can use the minus button to make things a bit softer. Each morning, when you pop the hearing instruments in, it will reset back to the zero line. If you wish to control the volume independently, you press this button, which will give you access to the right instrument and the left instrument. Next, we're going to look at the programs. Over here, we have a little drop-down arrow and we can see the different programs that have been loaded on this particular instrument. Comfort and loud noise is program two in this instance. That's a great program for very noisy places. Conversation and noise is the third program. Very good for hearing speech in restaurants. And on this program, Four, we have music, a very good program for listening to live music. If you want to mute the instruments, you press that button. To unmute them, you press this button over here. Dynamic is the master program. If you wish to alter the frequency response of the sound, you can slightly increase the trebles, mids or bass. And when you are streaming from uh, your music app and listening to music, you can alter the bass, mids and trebles through there. On this button here, we can see that both instruments are fully charged. This uh, may help if you have lost one of your hearing instruments. This will work only if your phone was on your person when you mislaid the instruments. If 
there's any updates, you can apply them here. Occasionally, we can remote into the instruments, and if you wish to have a remote programming session, it is set up via this app here. Thank you.